like it. I'm in the market for a lifetime companion. Tell me, do you have anything lying about in there? Something that would satisfy an Olympian appetite. Suitless <laughs> friend and citizen. I have traveled the world in search of beauty. And I can say, with modesty, that I have the finest assortment in all Rome. Oh, show me. Eunuchs! A buyer. Whoa, a buyer! <laughs> Over this way. Nothing but the best for a patron of Lycus. Ah, yes. There is merchandise for every need at the house of Marcus Waggis. All the merchandise is guaranteed at the house of Marcus Waggis. For a sense of sensuality or an opulence thereof. Merchandise of Marcus love. Now, for your most assured approval and your more than possible purchase, here are the fruits of my search. Behold. Tintinabula, with the face of an idol, the arms of a willow tree, and the pelvis of a camel. Lycus, don't you have something in there a bit less noisy? <laughs> I have. May I present Panacea? To make her available to you, I had to outbid the king of Nubia, Panacea with a face that holds a thousand promises and a body to deliver each promise. Disturbed. Oh, don't misunderstand me. The proportions. I love the breadth. It's the length. I mean, she may be the right length, but is it right for me? See what I mean. Isn't she a bit too short? Oh, definitely not. Too tall. <laughs> no, like that you look perfect together. Yes, but how often will we find ourselves in this position? <laughs> Perhaps no, we... no, no need to compromise. <laughs> Consider the Gemini, a matched pair, either one a divinely assembled woman, together an infinite number of mathematical possibilities. <laughs> Law 
Wallace. I quite agree, but I'm a man of limited means. I don't suppose you would consider breaking up a set. Well, I couldn't. You understand. Completely, yes. Fortunately, we still have vibrata. Exotic as a desert bloom, wondrous as a flamingo, lithe as a tigress, for the man whose interest is wildlife. Like as she is, it's sad to behold, but I can't help think there must be something wrong. Perhaps a cleft palate or a hammer toe. Wait. I know exactly what you want. May I present... Gymnasia. <laughs> A giant stage upon which a thousand dramas can be played. Lycus, could I see you over here a moment, please? <laughs> Yes. How much did it cost? Oh, this one. Two hundred and eight. Two hundred and eight? For what? Figure it out for yourself. Well, I suppose it is a fair price by the pound. But what worries me the most is the upkeep. No, you should sell her to some fraternal organization. <laughs> a group dedicated to good works. Uh, on the other hand, oh... Pseudolus! Yes, darling? Do you want your freedom? Oh, more than ever. Uh, let me see the next girl. What? That is the entire lot. Surely there is one among these to suit you. And as yet I have not seen the girl I had in mind, no. 